you have been warned the things that I'm about to say may offend some people to the point that some people may feel the need to unsubscribe from my channel. And if that is the case, then it is okay. You know, everything has its season and a reason. And if it's your time to go, I completely understand it. However, I'm not going to be censored to how I feel or how I'm feeling about a situation. And I've pondered over this for about two days, okay? It first started when I had watched uh, a YouTuber do a kind of review on this Dave Chappelle thing. And I saw this person that's a little bit more seasoned. And I thought, okay, well, he's an OG. I, I don't think he would find this stuff offensive because I, what did Dave say that was offensive, right? But then I said to myself, well, you know what? I didn't watch the whole special. So maybe I'm not getting what people are upset about. Now, some people are going to say, well, you're not in the community. Of course, you're not going to be offended. You, you know, so you're not going to get what's going on. Okay, I guess. So I decided to watch the Netflix special in its entirety. And I think that's part of what the problem is. A lot of people who are doing commentary on this situation, there is no way in the world that you could have watched that whole special and came out feeling fucking offended. If you watch that special and you are offended, you just want it to be fucking offended. And that's just the truth of the matter. Now, here is my problem in this whole situation. Um, now, some people may say, well, you know, you're about to go into a homophobic rant or transphobic rant or anything like that. If you know me, you know that that's not who I am. I don't want to start naming names. I don't want to be like that fucking racist white person that says, I have black friends. I'm not racist. No, 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 that's not who I am. But if you feel that way, then so be it. I really, let me just be honest. I really just don't give a fuck anymore. I don't care, okay? I am really offended at the way Dave Chappelle is being treated at this point. Number one, y'all already know what it is. I stand hard with motherfucking DMV and y'all know that Dave Chappelle is from DMV. MoCo nonetheless, but I've lived in Silver Spring myself. So here we go. This is my problem with the LGBT community. You can get this fucking work. You are not exempt because Y'all motherfuckers, and when I say y'all motherfuckers, if this shit does not apply to you, then let it fly. If you're not one of these people that I'm talking about, then there's no need for you to take offense or to be offended. But this is the problem that I'm having at the point, right? And even if this means, well, okay, well, I get uh, demonetized or YouTube no longer, I, I don't care. Like I said, when I was watching the commentary on Timothy Blaine's video, I said, Dave Chappelle left Hollywood. He cannot be bought. When a person knows who they are, they cannot be bought. There's no counseling a person who knows who the fuck they are. Okay? Now that person responded back and said, did Dave Chappelle left Hollywood because he was lazy and didn't want to work? I beg to differ. I think he was sick of the Hollywood politics. You know, it's similar to the politics that we see here on YouTube. I, I don't want to politic with y'all motherfuckers no more. I, I'm over the politicking. I'm over being nice. I'm over being, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. If you're offended, I don't give a fuck. It's just that simple. LGBT, you can get this fucking work. If comedians can shade black people, white people, Hispanic people, Chinese people, fat people, disabled people, the list goes on. Who the fuck are you that you can't get a joke? A lot of these people in the LGBT, and again, if you're not one of these people, this doesn't, I'm not talking to you. You all sit here and you call women bitches, whores, sluts. You talk under women's clothing about the smell of their vaginas, the shape of it, the lack there of it, who's touching it, who's rubbing it. And if you're listening to this channel, because I get it, 
I have people who watch me from all over. So if you're saying, wait a minute, no, 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 no. The LGBT, the LGBT doesn't do that. The devil is a fucking liar. Hashtag the beef sector. And you will find a bunch of gay men who sit around and trash women. Where is the fucking outrage? I don't see it. How dare y'all sit around here and be offended by what Dave Chappelle says, but you're not offended by the way that you talk to women. And if I'm yelling, it's because I'm fucking passionate about this shit. No man has any right to be out here disrespecting women. I have brothers, I have cousins, I have a husband. They don't argue with women. They don't do it. There's nothing cool about that shit. There's nothing cute about that shit. Now, if a woman disrespects you, you have every fucking right to check that bitch. I'm even of the mindset that if a woman hits you, you got the right to knock that bitch out. Because how I was raised, my mother said, listen, if somebody hits you, I don't care who they are. Boy, girl, dog, cat. If Marley bites me, he'll get fucked up too. Okay, let's be clear. So we're going to go ahead and play this Dave Chappelle video and we're going to get up into this. All of this, the, the, this, this shit that they're giving him, he doesn't deserve that. Then get into his financial shit. And this is why my husband, and a lot of times me and my husband, I, I'll be like, I don't really understand his way of thinking. But as you guys know, my husband was raised, born in Jamaica, went to school his whole life in jamaica just like my kids went to school in jamaica religion is a part of education so they're taught from early on the same sex is not okay but with my husband he's like shelly i let you do what you want to do i let you love who you want to love i let you support who you want to support but these people they're like the gay mafia and at this point i fucking understand what the hell he's talking about and again, you guys can be offended, but I'm fucking offended at the way Dave, Dave Chappelle is being treated. I'm offended by that. And like he said, Netflix is the only place that has not canceled him. And if at any point Netflix should decide that they want to cancel Dave Chappelle, I will cancel my membership to Netflix. And that's where I stand with it because you have to stand for something or fall for anything. I'm more outraged at the disrespect that I see some members of the LGBT give to women. Let's not be selective about this situation. Let's not, I mean, this Dave Chappelle was dropping niggas in his whole uh, special. I watched it in its entirety. The person that he talked about, his transgender friend, he set a, a, a trust fund up for the daughter. The daughter doesn't feel any kind of way about it. Somehow y'all motherfuckers are offended. The people in the crowd were not offended. Y'all just want to be fucking offended. Let's get into this fucking video because I'm over it, honestly. Had enough of it. It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? Hold up, did y'all hear that? If that ain't DMV, I don't know what it is. He said I said what the fuck I said. And, and I just want to reiterate, I said what the fuck I said. You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. I want everyone in this audience to know that it, even though the media frames this, that it's me versus that community, 
That is not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. Here's the shit. Here's the shit. For the record, and I need you to know this, everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. In summer 2020, when the whole world shut down, I was outside doing shows. My neighbor had a cornfield and he let me throw shows there and people came from all over the country. Some people came from around the world to see those shows. The best comedians on earth came to my home and broke bread with me. And we lived our lives. We found a way to keep moving forward. I made a whole documentary about it. The first night of those shows was a piece that some of you might have seen. It was called 846, and it dealt with the death, the murder of George Floyd. This film that I made was invited to every film festival in the United States, and some of those invitations I accepted. And when this controversy came out about the closer, they began disinviting me from these film festivals. And now, today, not a film company, not a movie studio, not a film festival, nobody will touch this film. Thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. <laughs> to the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. I stand with Dave right there. I am not bending. I am not folding. I am not doubling down. I am not backpedaling and pussy popping. I'm not backtracking and I'm damn sure not going to be a track star. I said what the fuck I said. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. Listen, fuck what you heard. I said what the fuck I said. And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. <laughs> First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. That part. What did I tell y'all in the beginning? There is no motherfucking way. Did anybody, and if you're saying, oh my God, why is she cussing? I always cuss. I have a potty mouth. I cuss so much, I don't even know that I'm cussing. Okay, listen. Listen, Linda. All seriousness, there is no way that the people who are upset literally watch this shit. I don't know if it's that y'all don't have Netflix, you just didn't take the time to watch it, or if you just woke up in the morning and you wanted to be upset. He didn't say anything that was fucking offensive. <laughs> You must come to a place of my choosing and a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. <laughs> I desperately want people to see this movie. But I understand why investors would be nervous. Since nobody will touch it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will make it available for all of you in 10 American cities going on sale in the next few days. You will be able to see this movie in its entirety and you can see what they're trying to obstruct you from seeing. I gotta pause again. Did I tell you 
This man left and went to Africa. Now, while I don't understand why he did not come back with a black queen. Now, if I have an issue with Dave Chappelle, it's the fact that he has an Asian wife. Now, Asian people are about to get fucking offended. I don't care. I don't understand why any black man would be with anybody other than another black fucking sister. Okay? I'm more offended by that. Now, I'm not the type of person that worries about who's dating who because I have who I have. I'm not out here on the dating scene looking for somebody. Okay? But what I'm saying is Dave Chappelle is woke. He's about to invest his own money into himself and still keep doing what he's fucking doing because he is not about to bend into... I, I don't want to use my husband's words and say the gay mafia, but that's how y'all fucking acting. And you can judge for yourself, but you cannot have this conversation and exclude my voice from it. That is only fair. You have to answer the question, am I canceled or not? <laughs> then let's go. Thank you very much and good night. I love the way he ended that. He dropped the mic and where I stand with it, he has shows coming up. I will support him at any show that I can support him at. And if that means I have to fly across the country, I will do that. Actually, I have a passport. If I have to fly out of the country, I will do it to support Dave Chappelle. In my opinion, this is nothing more than bullying. If we are going to censor comedians, then comedy needs to go out of the window altogether. When I'm going to a comedy show, I'm expecting for them to test the limits. I'm expecting them to do the most because they've been doing this for years. This is not the first type of joke that people have heard like this, but it's all about control. And it's all about selective outrage. It's so funny at the things that take place, and we don't see anything at we don't see anything at at all wrong with it. But the moment that someone says a joke, suddenly he needs to be canceled. Suddenly, everyone is offended. But I have watched video after video of men degrading women and many of those men if not all that i've seen here on uh youtube are in the lgbt and all they do and the one I'm the, who i'm talking to if I, again if i'm not talking to you i'm not talking to you okay you sit around you talk about women's parenting. When the last I check, I don't believe as a woman you, you can have a nan of a fuck child. Okay. Right? So you talk about people's parenting, you talk under their clothes, you disrespect them, you call them out their name, you talk about the hair on their head, you talk about the shapes of their bodies, and yet it's still nobody is fucking offended. And until we are offended by that type of behavior, I will not get selectively sensitive when it comes to comedy. Because that is exactly what it is, comedy. Now, this is just for the trolls that may come along and the people that want to scroll through the comment section and talk shit. This will be for you. For everybody else who understands exactly what I'm saying and where I'm coming from, I thank you in advance for your support. However, I will not be bent over to get fucked. I will speak my mind. And if that means that I will no longer have this platform to speak on, so be it. To anybody with nasty comments, this is for you.